So today we're going to look at glog. And glog is a fairly useful log viewer. Uh, its main intention is to view logs, but it's also really useful for looking at big files and searching big files. Uh, another useful aspect of glog is that when you uh, update a file in glog, well, not in glog, but if a file is updated uh, somewhere on your hard drive, it's going to update uh, the file in glog itself. So I'll show you that as, a, as an example later. So right now to actually demonstrate the features of glog, I made this uh, data file. Uh, this data file is about 600 megabytes. And what I put in here is the complete works of Shakespeare uh, duplicated about, uh, I think, 100 times or so. Okay, so let's actually take this, put it in here. And the first thing you have to, uh, you have to observe is that it loaded this file in just a couple of seconds. I didn't even blink, and I saw that the whole file got loaded. Now, here's, here's the thing that you have to keep in mind. If you open this file using uh, like a notepad or a mouse pad, what's going to happen is it's going to take a couple of seconds to load. So I open this with mouse pad. It's probably going to take me uh, 10 or 15 seconds to load this file. And it doesn't even load the whole file. What it does is it loads uh, a chunk of it. So for example, it may look here that mouse pad opened this entire file, but it didn't. If I scroll all the way down, as you can see, it's it's loading it's loading more lines as it's going down. See? Okay. Anyways, getting back to glog. So glog is fairly simple. It's it's really straightforward. All it is is G, it's basically this window here, the display. It it has this uh, search line here, and it has this uh, output box down here. And this is how you would actually use glog. Uh, you're going to type something into the search box. So you're going to type something like spear, hit enter, and you are, as you can see, it's searching for all of the occurrences of spear down here. And now that's finished, we can scroll down and see, well, okay, so we're getting all of these references to spear, okay. Uh, and here's what you can do down here. You can click on any of these lines, and when you click on these lines, it's going to go up here. It's going to show you where that line is in the actual file. So if you want to know where that file, where that line is, you're just going to click here or click here, and you're going to get uh, taken up here to that line. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can kind of bookmark these lines. So if you want to keep a line for reference for later, uh, you can just click beside this uh, red circle, just click here, and it's going to turn into a blue arrow. Uh, when it turns into a blue arrow, that means that the next time you search for something, it's going to uh, save that uh, as a mark. So for example, if you want to only show the marks, you uh, click here, and then you click on marks, and that displays all of your marks uh, in your output in your output window. Uh, so let's uh, look for something else. Uh, let's look for the word hand. You have to you have to really appreciate how quickly it's searching this entire file. Okay, so go back to matches, and now all of these are uh, results for the lines which have the word hand in them. Okay, let's see. So yeah, I think I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You just click whatever you want to save. I, I guess I'm going to go back to match or something. Okay, so I'm just going to save whatever I want. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to search for a table maybe. And you just keep repeating the process. Uh, now, uh, here's something that people who know regular expressions could appreciate. You're able to use, actually you're encouraged to use uh, regular expressions in this search line. So if you wanted to, you could use a character set like this. So you can say zero to nine, and it's going to return to you all of the matches which are from zero to nine. And I find that to be extremely useful because uh, not every uh, text editor or, tech or file viewer has uh, regular expressions built into it. 
Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so all of these lines now have the uh, have a character which are either like zero to nine in that range. Uh, and finally, uh, I finally I think this is what makes a glog really useful. Uh, with a glog, if this file ever changes out here, it's going to well, no, if it doesn't change it here, I mean, if it, it ever changes on my hard drive, it's going to display the results in here. So if uh, this file gets something added to it uh, on my hard drive, it will automatically uh, display that change in this viewer, which is why it's really useful for viewing uh, log files. And to do that, I'm going to demonstrate it using uh, this command. So, okay, I am going to echo an empty string into this data file, which will effectively uh, remove everything in here. Okay, perfect. So now, as soon as I execute that command, glog cleared everything because it said, well, there's nothing in here, so I'm just going to uh, delete everything. And I am going to type glog is awesome. And as soon as I execute that command, it added that. So if I want to do that continuously, I can just keep typing this in. And think about it. If you have a log file that's constantly spitting out logs and you want to keep track of them, you can simply open that file in glog and it's going to uh, keep updating that as the file updates. So you get real-time updates without having to uh, make a script or use uh, tail or head. I'm not sure which one people use, but yeah. So yeah, it's really useful for stuff like this. And I hope that you like this video. And if you like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.